three sharpeners we're using, Grandberg 12 volt sharpener. They come in 12, 14, 20,000, still make them. Husqvarna have them as well. They're about $35, $40. They're ideal, they're better than a file because they don't rust once you get your sweat on them. You can carry a torch battery with you. Keeping a saw sharp is, is much easier than sharpening a blunt saw. It's, uh, it's taken us five hours to cut, um, to cut three big trees into firewood uh, lengths today. Uh, sharpening your saw every tank full of fuel, five steps to it. Hold your sharpener in your left hand. Make sure you've got your right stone. 3 16th is good, or 7 32 if you're using 3 8 chain. We use the 3 8 chains on all the shindows because they're professional saws. <coughs> As long as it's in your left hand and you follow the steps one, two, three, four, five, you'll be able to maintain a sharp saw. <clears throat> Make sure the sh chain's tight. Just a snap, that's all, and it can move freely. Again, it's all about straight lines. Keep it in the center of your chest. Sharpener in your left hand. <clears throat> you place your thumb on the corner of the sharpener. Keep a little pressure towards the muffler. <clears throat> Use the full length of the stone from one end to the other. Square off the top of your tooth. That's the top plate of the sharpening tooth. Then slowly transition around to the side tooth. Remember there's a relationship between the top of the chain and the side of the chain. Zero degrees for the side and 30 degrees for the top. I'll just start here. You'll we'll see as we go. I'll just check to you as we go. <coughs> the tops of the teeth, some will look like a half half moon, some will look serrated, some will look concave, it doesn't matter, that's just the nature of the timber you've been cutting and each tooth will vary, you hit a little bit of dirt or something. So you square the top of the tooth off, the top plate lays back on the raker in front of it, one, two, three, and I slowly start to roll my left hand forward, keeping the 30 degree line on the sharpener in line with the muffler. That's that tooth sharp. No vices, no locking up, no strain, no pain, and no yelling and screaming. Line it up, wear it off. One, two, three. Now that's made the top, this very top plate here, square and sharp. So now I put the bevel on it. To put the bevel on it, I simply roll my left hand slowly forward while whilst extending my sharpener left and right across the bar. Slowly extend it. Three. Next two. So the sharp is always maintained in your left hand. The 30 degree line is on the top plate, rolling it over. Remember, put as much effort into the side as you have into the top because you don't want to put what's called a back slope into the, into the tooth. It'd be nice and shiny there. Do the next one. Okay, once you've done this around your chain, about every third time you do it, every third time you sharpen your saw, you've got to tend to the rakers or the depth gauges. <coughs> That's these little numbers here. They determine the depth of your cut. Oh, and it also determines the depth of your cut, how deep you want it to cut, whether you're cutting softwood or hardwood. Hardwood your cut's quite shallow, softwood it can be quite deep. You can use all the power of your engine. Okay, doing the rakers, every third time we sharpen our saw, we must take our rakers or our depth gauges down to maintain our cutting depth. The flat file, available from any shop, 5mm flat file. You cover the tooth you've already sharpened. You run your file across the top of the tooth three times. One, two, three. I do this every third time I sharpen my chainsaw. One, two, three you will cut a lot more timber in a lot more relaxed fashion by keeping a saw sharp than having to sharpen a saw when it's blunt. One, two, three. Once you finish the rakers, the saw is now ready to use. We'll start it up and see how sharp it is. This whole process has taken me less than three minutes.
Sharp saw puts out chip, blunt saw puts out dust. Sharp saw, as you can see, cuts like butter. Have a great day. Thanks for visiting our site.